Jesus is white. No, nah, man, Jesus black. You know, we could make an entire video out of Jesus being white or being black. And but but here's the crux of the matter. Uh, when you start focusing on that, you become like people like Monique. Uh, why are we bringing in Monique into this? Because uh, it's it's her point of view we want to tackle. Um, she was seen on an interview with Mr. Jesse Lee Peterson. Um, and, and she said some interesting things. Uh, and so we want to try and break it apart a little bit because I, at the end of it, I, I think you'll come to the conclusion that we did, um, that, that when you start looking at things of God in, in color, you've lost sight of God. So I, I want you to listen real quick to what she say. And, and we're going, you know, too strong. We're going to snap it open and, and look at the contents. Okay. So watch this real quick. So you believe that Christianity is a white man's religion? Well, who taught it to us? What the? That's a religion that was given to us. That is a white man's religion that he said, this is our white God and this is what you believe. So no, Jesse, I am not a Christian and I would put my beautiful... So... Remember some time ago we talked about Monique and, and, and uh, her interview on Club Shay Shay, okay? We talked about that. Um, she's always wanted to be like a certain individual, a uh, one Oprah Winfrey. And when I looked at that woman, Shannon, I saw me. I saw a big woman with a big head, big shoulders, and big feet. But seeing her, let me say, okay, it's possible. They share something very similar. And I think the crux of the matter is Monique is ultra jealous of Oprah. You see, Oprah got to a space that she really, really coveted. She could say what she wanted, people will listen. She could present ideas and people will take it. She has a take on even God and people will be like, oh my gosh, Oprah's right. So you start seeing her do some things that almost mirror Oprah, even in that aspect of, Oh, ain't nobody serving no white Jesus. First of all, first of all, people, no sane human being, and I mean this with all sincerity, no sane human being will argue over what color Jesus was. No, no, because hear me out. Just because you come from a region does not mean you look like that region. I, did, did you know there were white Jamaicans? Did you did you know <laughs> there are white Jamaicans? Yeah, Asian, Asian Jamaicans. It's crazy. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter what the region is. It doesn't always dictate the look of the people. So to give that example, you've already lost your argument. And that's why it's unimportant. Because what is important is what he did. But I digress. You see, Monique doesn't want to focus on that. She wants to focus on something that she can term God, that she can manipulate and control. You, you heard her say it. Find it for yourself. But my beautiful people, it's like y'all find it for yourself. And if finding it for yourself means, you know what, I got a husband and my husband got three wives and all of us are good with that, then everybody could. Didn't Oprah say something similar about there are many ways to God? I remember her saying that. One of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live and that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world, that there are millions of ways to be a and human being and, and many ways, no, but many paths right. to what you call God. That and her crazy. path might be something else. And when she gets there, she might call it the light. Odd. So what are the odds of one person that you're aspiring to be saying it one way and you come along and say it the same way with the same concept of do for you? Do what makes you feel good. It's so odd, though. But it's not just those two. The other person that said almost the exact same thing was Mr. Swallowed himself, T.D. Jakes. When he was talking about the LGBTQ people, what do you say? I'll go find somebody in a congregation that agrees with you. Yeah. And LGBTs of apes and sorts have to find a household of worship that reflects what your views are and what you believe like anybody else. I didn't know that's how God worked. I didn't know that you went to God and say, you know what, God, <laughs> you got your way. But I tell you what, I'm going to use your name real quick, but I'm going to believe what I want to believe. I, I'm going to give Monique a little bit of a shell shock here. That's not how God operates. You, you don't get to go to him and present your list of demands and have him say, yes, right away, master, and hand it back to you. It don't work like that, Moni. And secondly, it's not a white man's religion because it didn't start 
in U Europe. So, so it, it can't be a, a white man's religion. I just want to be clear about that. In in any any format at all, it, it can't be. And secondly, it's thirdly, it's not about the race that the religion came from. I and I don't know that you can get this through because you kind of seem stuck on this idea that anything to do with well-behaved, upright, right living is white. Isn't that, that's, that sounds like what you're saying. Is, is it? Are you, let me get this right. Are you equating morals, fathers in the home, fathers being the head, mothers being um, subservient to the husband and teaching the children and having a home function and run well, is, is that white? That makes more sense to me because now I see why you never call out bad behavior of people that look like you. It makes all the sense in the world to me now because in your world, in your world, and this is only in people like you and Oprah's world, you somehow believe that how you look is exact carbon copy of how you should behave. And when you do that, you don't know God. Because he doesn't look at the outside, looks at the heart. But then again, you don't care about that either. Because you've hinged all of your attitude. Don't forget, you're the schizophrenic one. And you can hear people in their own minds. You, you have two different personalities that you use, one for stage and one for home. And, and you can hear people's thoughts. So you might already be ascended to godhood, apparently. No wonder you believe that everything has to do with good and bad is a white thing. So to the audience, I wanted to address something to you now, since we've already gotten that shape shifter out the way, and I don't mean in size, no pun intended. When you start looking at God as a human aspect kind of creation, you have lost all respect and awe of God. And where do you end up? You end up in positions of people like T.D. Jakes, Oprah, and Monique, because what they do is put self before God and they give God a image of themselves. So they re what they're really doing is projecting themselves as God. They don't really have any inclination to follow him whatsoever. They don't care about that. You following them is what they really care about, fame, fortune, and influence. If you have been a fan of Monique, I feel for you, I really do because some of y'all will stay fans even knowing that she's thinking this way, and especially about people who look like you. Both white and black, I mean. Because remember, she makes comedy, right? For everybody. But then she'll single out a certain kind of people that she likes more than the other. And it's not by behavior. I want that to settle in for a minute. And does that sound like God? No, it doesn't. The reason it doesn't is because Monique's version of it is the exact same version that Oprah has and the exact same version that T.D. Jakes has. And what version is that? Do you, boo-boo. <laughs> Don't care about me. Do you. Whatever makes you feel good. It's all about that feeling. Like she said, if you want to have multiple husbands and multiple wives and whatever makes you feel happy, do. Why do you think we're in the world of chaos we're in right now? We have forsaken order. And who is order? God. If you want to find peace, you want to find relevancy, and you want to find some path to walk, it's not going to be found in celebrities, and it's not going to be found in fame. It's only found in one location, and that is in the bosom of God.